Ruffles, 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 the hardest event in NBA 2K20. Why is it the hardest event? Because you are competing not only against the comp PS4 players, but also the Xbox players on the leaderboard. So it is very difficult to become top 50 on the leaderboards, as well as dealing with all the server issues. You can be delayed people can hold ball or you could try to press x and go into the event with your squad and get a famous error code the famous 2k error code but today is something different i'm getting my rematch with this event but now we are attacking this event as a legend <laughs> If you haven't already, make sure you cop some TSL and Monster merch. What's good here? It's your boy Monster here with another video as you guys see from the title and the thumbnail. Today, we are playing the Ruffles event with my three-point playmaker at Legend. And also, we got my boy Pablo. We got my boy Flo Jerk. He is also Legend. So, not one Legend, but two Legends in Ruffles. And then also, we got the GOAT, baby Virgil. Now, if you guys don't know Virgil, he already won this event so many times. He already went to the Chicago event. Everything. He's a demon. We had to pick up an actual demon. So, now, as long as we don't experience no lag out, no blue screens, and no super duper long comp games we can actually win the ruffles event bro. now you can win it's a lot of ways you can win you could be top 50 or you could be top five top five is the close and the unlimited boost me i already have unlimited boost so i'm not worried about you know i already have my boost you see i already got the helmet i want it even already but we gotta at least get them sleeves now the reason why i don't really try to go for top five because like the realistic logic of getting that is crazy bro like i said in the intro with the leaderboards um it is xbox and playstation and you have to get lucky look at this game you see this type of game we have we have an easy game and that's what you hope that you get that's why this event is based off of luck it's not too much based off of skill the people who win this is not because they're super skilled there is a method to winning this, and I'm going to show y'all how we was going crazy. I'm going to show y'all our method. As you can see, um, we not only just have a rebounder, we got a lockdown that can actually shoot. It's not just a regular lock. Like, he can actually shoot. And y'all about to see me get real crabby with it. Look, first shot I missed, but that was a beautiful crab. That's not even my play style. Y'all know we do the ice, but we had to get, you feel me? I had to start learning to eat crab. So, I missed the first shot. But I make up for it. I get a nice little steal. Now, look. I'm going to do the quick pop. Give me the green. green. That is Dante Exum on a three-point playmaker, bro. Hmm. Win an event with a rare build. Mm-hmm. Demon. Let's get right, man. Four. Zip. Let's see. They coming down the court. Now, you see the defense. This is the defense you want to play in Ruffles. You want to basically play three at the top, the center at the bottom, bro. Look. That's two steals already easy. Two back-to-back -back possessions. The goal is to have a great, excellent shot. You see my boy Diablo with the green. Bean, we hot. Two full pointers back-to-back. -back. And also the goal is you want to shoot all fours by any means, no matter what. If you take a two, that is subtracting points on the leaderboards, bro. You have to shoot straight fours, bro. You really have to. So they try to squeeze a four right there. Great defense. We got the ball. Pass up the flow jerk. Pass to me. Look, I'm about to do, ooh, I would have seen. Look, if I would have shot that, it wouldn't, have, it wouldn't have counted. So I had to pass out. Back to me. I'm going to do the quick Give stop. The green, green. Like, do y'all not know how to quick stop? I feel like I got to teach y'all that or something. Because it's like, I don't be seeing a lot of people doing it, bro. Like, my boy Rico Suave do not do it. All he does is the same as he. But it's cool. He was a demon in this event. I'm not going to lie. Hit flow. Look, even my lock can shoot. So when I'm getting double team or the sharp is locked up, we have a legend lockdown build that can go to the four point line and green his own from the four. That's what made our lineup different. That's how we going crazy, bro. So they finally get a bucket, four to 16. Like I said, y'all see us going super crazy, bro. Like it's pretty much a GG. Y'all see how, like look at the minutes of this game. That's what you want to do. You want to try to end games as fast as possible. Look at how quick this game is going, bro. You got to do the method. You can't just come in here with like, you know, random homeboys that don't play events. Mm, sauce green and you gotta hit your shots ultimately that's what it's all gonna boil down to you gotta get them excellent releases bro look see how he missing all of that will waste time look 
fast break. Bang. Look how quick that game was, bro. Just look at that, bro. Look at that, bro. That's just way too easy. But while that game can be easy, let me show you how it gets difficult. Hold on. And also, I'm supposed to be throwing flashies, but as you guys can see, we got 23,000 off of that game. You see, I'm already ranked 49, so I'm already in the top 50 to just at least win the event and get the sleeve. But it's going to be tough to hold it. So here's what I mean when I says it get difficult. Look at my luck. We're going against an Elite 1 and an Elite 2. So that means when you get a comp type of game like this, it is very difficult to get 4 points. And I told y'all, if you don't shoot 4s, you basically get nothing. And then you got to think about it. Think about it. While I'm in this comp game, another comp player is playing against the bots like how I played in the first game. Where you could just 24 zip, 24 zip, 24 zip. So that's why this event is luck based to just win, bro. Plus, you're competing against both consoles. So you see the elite one, Killing King Slayer. You feel me? He sauced up on the first possession with a playmaking five. He did green a four. I cannot lie. So they already got a four on us. It's four zip. Now, look at their intense defense. Look at how basically we can't get nothing. I'm being double teamed. The off ball really isn't there. Look, you just really got to chuck shots and hope that it can actually drop. So. This is looking like a dead possession, as you can see. We got nine seconds. I should have hit floor right there, but I still hit Kobe. That was kind of open. He should have made it, but he didn't. They get the rebound, and look, we're down four, and now they got the ball. So everything cool right now, but I'm telling you, just wait. Just keep watching. It gets weird. Just keep watching. It gets weird, bro. Now, luckily, we um they have like a like a I don't know what he is like. What was he a rookie something on their team? He wasn't too up to par on what's going on in Ruffle, so we're about to take advantage of his IQ. I'm glad we noticed that in the game. So, look, you see how long this game is taking compared to the first one? Two shot clock violations, basically, back to back, and we still ain't get a point yet. But I spot my boy Rayquaza wide open on the wing. It's not green, but he banged it. We finally get on the board. It's four to four. Let's get right, man. So, back on defense, you feel me? Let's get right. We getting into our, what do you call this? 3-1 defense getting into the 3-1 defense where nobody is trying to allow fours bro at the end of the day you see him saucing up he doing dribbles he tried to lob it don't know why he risked the lob but you can see you supposed to be going for fours but they just want to beat us like they not even with the vibes of like you feel me trying to go for fours like we are green let's go in tay with the green bro wide open that is clutch that's why i said you need a sharpie and really in these type of games, like I said, when you start playing elite ones and elite threes, elite twos, you're lucky if you get any fours off. But we so determined to win. You feel me? Hey, we just getting it. We just taking whatever we can get. He tried to pass to me. That was a steal. Good defense. Good defense by King Display. Not going to lie. Great defense. Goes up in the paint. That was great defense also. So now they got six to eight. They going for twos, bro. Now, like I told you, we're going to take advantage of the IQ of that teammate. Look, he's still guarding Bobby, right? Now, look, as I drive in, I dot Bobby real quick. And that was a nice off ball by my boy Virgil, bro. Even though he was open regardless, now we're up six whole points. We shot all ruffles like, bro, the points you get when you beat a team like this and shoot all fours, it's amazing. That should have been my steal right there. And I got interceptor on, so they end up getting a four. Now it's 10 to 12. Now it's actually a close game. Now, y'all see how everybody's playing fair and square. You feel me? It's a close game. You feel me? Nobody in their feelings. But once you see a team about to lose, they become weird. And y'all about to see what I'm talking about, bro. First off, I'm trying to get me a nice little... Oh, I tried to get a crab animation right there. It didn't work. So I clearly airballed. That is an airball. That was like 100% contested. GG's. I sold. That's on me. They got a bucket. It's 12 to 12 now. Now I got to try it again. I do a little quick stop and pop. Bang! It's not green, but it's green. So I did airball, but I came back and made up for it, bro. Hey, the contested shot was tough. So now it's 16 to 12. So let's see how they coming on the court. You see him spamming the cozy size up. He trying to do whatever he can to get a bucket. All right. Yeah. They starting to come to realization that it's just nothing they can do. Even though he died, it's a nice dot right there, but he is not about that. They get a rebound. He passes. Easy steal. So now it's looking like a GG, especially if we end up getting 20 on this off ball. Mm, kind of a bad shot. We got the rebound because we got some horsies down there. Give me the rock. Let's get right. Nine seconds. I try to hit flow real fast. It didn't work. Back to me. Quick stop. Oh, they picked up. Hit Kobe. I threw a steal. Like they on it. 
You see how everything that you could do on bums, you cannot do that on teams like this, bro. Now, here's the plus sign of how our lineup comes in handy dandy against a comp team. You see how Flo was in the corner at first, and then he went up to the wing? They wasn't expecting that, and that's a sneaky green full point line. Now, we're finally here to the point I wanted y'all to see. So now that they realize the game is pretty much over, let's see what they do. Look at him, bro. Look what he's doing. If you ain't noticed by now, even though he got a steal, he tried the whole ball, but they stole it back. Look, they're holding LT, L2, L2 on PlayStation, LT on Xbox. And look, they're going to literally sit here and take 24 seconds off the clock so that we cannot win the event. This is something that's the norm of what happened in events, bro. I was about to go to game chat, but I realized game chat does not work. So look, they took the whole 24. And by the way, I know these are probably some little kids, bro. If you watching the video, which I know you are, cause you know you play me, you know you hold ball, you know you held ball, you know you did wrong. You can actually get banned for this. Luckily, I don't care enough, bro. I could easily report them. You get banned for holding ball, bro. So if you watching this video, anybody, don't hold ball on anybody, bro. Like, don't hold ball on nobody. Especially me. I don't even, I already got unlimited boost. I'm wearing a helmet. So, holding ball on me is pointless. But, even though they held the ball, like I said, that just makes your rank keep going down and down on the list because people are wasting time. PSN's in the video. Look, if I wanted to get them banned, it would be a GG. But like I said, I don't care, bro. They gonna learn from their mistake from just watching the video and realizing, like, dang, I'm weird. Like, yes, that's weird, bro. It's pointless. You got any of feelings because you lost? Just, just throw the ball up. Just shoot a full court shot or something. But anyway, here is the last game to take us home, bro. We had to hurry up and end it with a two because the time was running out. And we were trying to get every single one of our teammates in the top 50. So I ended up ranked 12, as you guys are about to see. Uh, my other teammates, Virgil, was probably in the top 20. I think everybody was top 20, top 30. My boy Flo came up short just because of how long that last game took right there. And I'm telling y'all, y'all see that rank 12, bro? We had a comp game that took literally like 30 minutes, bro. I'm talking about a 30-minute comp game. And when I started that comp game, I was at like 14 or something. So if I didn't get that comp game... I would have probably hopped top five. I probably would have got top five, but the top five for me isn't needed. We already got unlimited boost. But now, so y'all can see the event is over, we finally reached the goal, bro. I wanted to win this event so bad, and we finally made it in the top 50, bro. You know how hard it is to be top 50 with both consoles playing on one leaderboard, bro? It's crazy. Congratulations ruffle sleeves you don't just get one of them things you get two of them things and guess what i tried to press square and it wouldn't work so i had to rejoin the park like geez 2k i need y'all to do better but i did rejoin the park my award did pop up again we finally got some ruffle sleeves bruh jeez can it actually work this time prize one as you guys can see we actually made it we finally did it it took me to be legend bro and if i played every single server as a legend I probably would end up getting in the top five eventually, bro. But as you can see, you went both sleeves. If you are in the top 50, top five would be unlimited boost, which I already have. And then you would get the jersey and the shorts. But hit that like button if you guys enjoyed this banger. And also, the likes is going to determine and let me know if you guys want to see my legend build play in more events if y'all want to see a bunch of my legend builds and events like i used to do i'll bring that series back as well and we out of here eee!